The search for life on another planet has taken a giant leap. This month, NASA announced they found evidence of possible life at one point on Mars. KXN's Eric Hendrickson takes a closer look at the discovery and how a different discovery here in Austin is revealing what made life on the red planet possible. It's the closest we've come to finding something like this uh, outside of Earth. Signs of life on Mars. We found the evidence that there is actually organic material in general in these rocks here. While remnants of organic life on a rock might not excite as much as a Martian civilization. For UT Austin scientists like Lucia Bellino. I think to have such a kind of a fundamental question about, you know, was Mars habitable three to four billion years ago? Was there life there? Um, and how is that possible? Um, really interested me. Bellino isn't looking at the surface, but beneath the red crust. It's not as active as it once was, especially in terms of volcanism. Billions of years ago, volcanoes dotted the red planet, spewing out sulfur. Bellino's new analysis of Martian meteorites revealed that this sulfur changed as it moved through magma, losing oxygen and becoming more reactive. Once reaching the surface, it could have helped form a hazy atmosphere on early Mars, warming a brutally cold planet where liquid water could flow and life flourish. We have this new mechanism um, through which sulfur could have been a really key ingredient in shaping um, habitable conditions for early Mars. Bellino said that this type of changed sulfur is also found on Earth, in areas with microbial life. It emphasizes the need to kind of bring these samples home and keep investigating whether Mars was habitable and maybe even if there could have been life on early Mars. It's a question we're now a stone's throw away from answering. In Austin, Eric Hendrickson, KXAN News. By the way, the average temperature on Mars today is negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, going in depth in 2023, NASA's Curiosity rover found rock layers with ripples in them that suggest lakes may have existed on the Martian surface. So according to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the rover found the rippled sediment near Mount Sharp, a three mile tall mountain that appears to have been the site of lakes and streams that could have supported microbial life.